Today I'm going to line a box with velvet and padding. Uh, so I have my box here and I have a piece of Stonehenge paper which is a fairly thick uh, you know, white paper. It could be any paper, it could be even very light cardboard. But the idea of this is to give structure to the fabric so when we put it into the box it'll hold it up the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'll take the box and I'm going to take a rough measure right now to find out you know, sort of where the height of the box is from the edge of the paper. Okay, now with those two lines, I'm going to just trace around the outside of the box. And these distances here, these distances here come to the, the height of the box. We're not going to use all of that. Uh, we're going to cut part of it off, but I need to have enough room to work you know, when we're making this pattern. So at this point, I'll take a straight edge, and since this paper was drawn around the outside of the box and I wanted to go inside, I'm going to take about a full quarter inch off on all sides. And then draw a little rectangle. Okay, now this will be the inside of our box. That will definitely fit inside. Now from this, I want to develop a flap that will come up to the inside of the box and cover over the, the, uh, the overturn here on the, on the edge turning. So I want to bring the velvet up to about a quarter inch uh, from the top. So I'll take a little measurement and I see that that's about two and seven eighths inches and I'm going to mark two and seven eighths inches all the way around the box here. So that's two and seven eighths from this line two and seven eighths and seven eighths and here. Now I'm going to go trim this in the board here. Now from here, I'm going to extend these lines. These are the inside lines of our square, straight out on all sides. Okay, now, from here, with my dividers, I'm going to take about a quarter inch off of the top of each of these. So I'm going to do this on the inside. That inside being the panel that we're going to keep. We're going, these are waste pieces here. We're going to cut these out. So I'm going to just mark these with a quarter inch. and take off the quarter inch there. And I'm doing this from the very end, from the very end of the line here. Now from this corner, instead of using the pencil, since I have to cut this out, I'm just going to use my knife and cut these directly. So put the knife on the quarter inch mark bring it up to the corner of the inside of the box and then just cut quarter inch here quarter inch here and what this does is this takes the flaps and makes them so that they don't butt up against each other in the corner and it allows us to wrap fabric around these pieces of paper
And the last one here. Now before I fold this, I'm just going to give this a little bit of a score so that it folds easily and exactly where I want it to. This should fit loosely in the box because we're going to pad this and then wrap it with fabric. And I'm going to test this first to see how it fits in the box here. And there it goes. So you can see how that fits. Now with the padding, all of this area and the sides will be will be uh, all filled with you know padded padded velvet. So we'll pull this out, and the next thing I'm going to do is put uh, a nice square of twin tack into the bottom of the box. This is going to hold the padding in place. And for our padding, we use regular uh, quilting batting, like this. So I'm also going to put a little bit of uh, twin tack right up here to hold the, the outside edges in, too, on the outside edges of the cross. So I have these little scraps here that are about the right size, and I'll cut these open this up, drop this down, and run through this four corners. That's a long one to put it here. These are a little shorter, so I'll trim those off. Now I'll get out a piece of the quilting here, the batting. Make sure it's big enough. That seems to fit. And then I'll take the twin tack protective sheets off here. First the center one, so I can get this in place, put this down, and then these can be just lifted off and set down. Now I'll take a rotary cutter and cut the uh, the quilting to to size here. You could use scissors for this as well, because we're all you know stuck up on the twin tack here. And sometimes you don't want to do this on your uh, main working surface because, as you can see, the uh, Rotary cutter pushes some of the quilt batting into the uh, into the board, so I think I'm going to continue these with scissors instead, because this is this is my main work area. I usually do this on another table.
if you're doing a lot of these, you want to use the rotary cutter because it's a lot faster than scissors. But since we're only making one box today, I'm not going to worry about, you know, speed for this project. Okay, final trim here, and we will be all padded. There we go. So now, with this padded like this, I'm going to take little strips of twin tack and put these around the outside edges because I want to be able to hold the fabric down. So I've got these little scraps of twin tack here. Some of them are a little wider than I actually need, but I'm going to put these on now too. I'll trim some of these down and put these onto the backs. get off all of these things here and I may even put a little bit you know up at the top as well okay. need a few more pieces here I'll cut some short pieces for in there last two. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get these apart. Okay. So now I'll tear a piece of velvet, and uh, the velvet is going to be cut so that it's about an inch bigger than the square of this, this piece. And I'll be back as soon as I finish that. 